Yo, what it is, y'all already know who the fuck this is. This is Exacto Knife with a 2K20 tutorial video for y'all boys, breaking it down nice and easy. I'm in my bag. If you're a supporter, if you enjoyed the video, please drop a like. You ain't gotta sub if you don't want to, but we dropping bangers all 22, so you might as well get on board and get with the crew. Let's go. Come on. Um. Anyways, this is for next gen disclaimer. Make sure it's not a long vid. Make sure you watch the whole vid. I'm literally giving y'all free fucking upgrades and making y'all a demigod just like that bro this I, this literally happened to me in the first like five to ten hours of gameplay on the game so y'all can do it ma much easier if you actually focus on these things uh this is my career based but it i promise you bro the rewards are fucking worth it bro this is a small investment for a big uh reward anyway so after you start my career at first after you start my career right here you will eventually be put into this cutscene, which is going to be lay of the land explore your options you know what i'm saying bro and uh, then you're going to cut like right around this time, you're going to get an interview with this or like you're going to have a chat with the, you know, what I'm saying with your homeboy in the crib. And he's going to tell you to go like what, what you're going to do. And then you're going to talk to these two representatives. This is one of them right here. He's literally right outside the crib, right across from the practice. But so you see the crib is in the background right there. And look at this. You can pause it if you want. But the one you care about right here is earn a permanent 5% my points accelerator to speed of progress of upgrading your my player. You know what I'm saying, bro? uh that's very very not i'm pretty certain that also gives you five percent more rep if i'm not mistaken but uh at, like it definitely upgrades your player quicker but anyways okay so this is the second guy he's across town but like i said you there's gonna be a fucking mini map and you're gonna be able to find him with ease you go over here and this is the dude that you care about because this dude remember how like in 2k20 2k21 you get extra badge points which are so huge on this game, even though you get a lot of badges, it could completely change your build. I wish I knew this before I made my build. Look at this. This is this says you can earn additional badge points by winning the national championship. You do have to win. You know what I'm saying? You click R1 or uh, RB on Xbox on your fucking controller. And then you just go back home. Also, a quick shortcut to teleport. You see, my controller is crucified. Yeah. Damn, my controller is broken. Anyways, you teleport back to the crib. You go in there, you know what I'm saying? Go back in the crib, go talk to him, and uh, then tell him what you want to do. Do like, like I said, if you fucked up, that's tough. Because right here, you do not want to fuck up. You want to make sure you go to college first. You can go to the G League after college and still get those benefits, but not the other way around. College first. College first. Remember that. Col if you already did it, that's tough. Do it on a different player. But this is literally... It could make a build like completely different and you'll see what I'm talking about. It's not a, at first I thought it was like one 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 to all the categories. Okay, it makes your build a little bit better. I mean, who doesn't want an extra badge point, right? You get it from the tier list as well. Look at this, bro. And you can pause the video. Look at the options. It doesn't have every combination. For example, there's no like three shooting, one playmaking, shit like that. But look at this, bro. Look at, you can pause. Let me pause it for y'all, actually, bro. Let me pause it for y'all. Look at how many different combinations you can have. And you do have to win the championship, so don't lose. But it, it's really fucking easy. Look at this. You can put plus four defensive badges on one build. This is cap. This is not like unlocking badges. This is cap. So if you had, if you put up your attributes, you had 12 defensive badges on a weak defensive guard. Now your total is 16. And say you unlock more in some other tiers throughout the list. I mean, throughout the year. And look at this. You're going to have like 20 defensive badges uh, by the time it's fucking 2022. Th that build is going to go from a defensive liability to a defensive powerhouse. You know what I'm saying? You can get a build that doesn't have much playmaking and give it plus four playmaking. Or, uh, you know what I'm saying? Or uh, slashing or anything like that. Or shooting. You know what I'm saying? Shooting. Plus four. Who doesn't want plus four shooting? That's damn near a Hall of Fame badge. Almost. Not quite. Hall of Fames on this game are five to seven badge points. But like I said... Make sure you do this for every player. I'm telling you, that little bit of my career you play, you're gonna want this, bro. This is free fucking badges. Anyways, uh, I'm not sure how long I was over here looking at this shit. Let's uh, let's fast forward. Uh, let's fast forward to the next part. You know what I'm saying, bro? This this shit was a uh, damn. I was mad excited when I was uh, when I saw this shit on stream. All right, next thing, almost as important if not. This is gonna be. I'm gonna. It's gonna go through. Look, accelerator. Takeover meters fill faster when performing well on court allowing you to get into takeover quicker i don't necessarily know if this means it's gonna be like just like a takeover booster from old 2ks where just like 
everything is just increased or if like it stacks say like you make three four shots in a row that shit is gonna give you fucking team take but anyways uh the red ones as you see them po uh well you can't see the poking on the left there's also defensive versions of these takeover perks this is an addition to your takeover in addition to you see my two takeovers on this build right now is post shot daggers and stuff blocks and you see uh you can look at you can pause and look at what these ones say these are the ones that you unlock from the chris brickley thing and the horseshoe one uh, and the mop are unlocked from uh, something else. I will do that video on that in the future. As you see, you want to go right here. You want to go into your uh, start menu. You want to go into your uh, top where it says uh, uh, career. And you want to drop down. And eventually, once you have this, the Chris Brickley thing, you get that pretty early. As you see, look at the things it gives you. You do have to do it four times. So in between this, you're going to either have to play Park or My Career, I'm pretty sure. Or maybe even both. But you're going to have to play a couple games in between each practice to allow it to like reload. And then you're going to keep coming back. And it's going to give them to you one by one. The last one gives you Accelerator, which is Take or Booster, which I figure is one most of y'all want. Although I have tried Extender. And that shit makes your Take or last a long time. And do not forget, very important, this year Double Takeover is not like in 2K21 Next Gen where it was like your second take would last for a little bit and then run out and then it's only your primary active they are both active for the entire duration of your double take or your team take both of your takeovers are active pay attention that's very important bro and you also get the mamba mentality badge which obviously allows you to change your takeovers as you see fit you're gonna previously you have to max all your badges to do this me i'm not even close now and i'm getting this badge you know what i'm saying i can switch my takeovers how i please it makes you versatile it makes you able to play different game modes with ease and adapt to situations it lets you try out different takeovers it's fun and uh like i said you should there's no reason you should be passing up on this i got it on the first day you should definitely have this badge in your arsenal you know what i'm saying there's no reason to not have it bro. all right let's fast forward uh to this okay and this is how you get it to so showing y'all how i got this was the fourth last one uh the last uh the, they're a little bit challenging but i mean you, like i said if you bow as i dunk on a slut you know what i'm saying get the fuck out the way little bitch and as you see it is unlocked uh you, you do get points in here as well you know what i'm saying you get a pretty good amount of points and uh you know what i'm saying rip kobe Bryant, bro and we unlocked the mama mentality badge this was the fourth practice the fourth practice unlocks this one last but not least uh, you know what I'm saying? You can win the NBA championship, but I don't know how, who got time to play fucking 80 games in the playoffs. So this method will take, I think about, if you do the math, about two months, maybe a little bit less. But uh, it's better to have it now than never because I am not aware of anything but a championship that gives this, uh, this gym rat thing. So as you see, you go to City Quest, right? You go to City Quest and then you find uh, that quest and you just go over or you can just pull up. You don't even have to click on the quest. You can just pull up to the Gatorade facility, and after you're there and you talk to that guy outside, as you see in the top left corner, it says 0 of 50, earn 3 stars on any workout. You know what I'm saying, bro? On any workout. And you're going to want to, you're going to want to, like I said, if you divide it, you do 5 trainings, that's 5, uh, 3 stars, so... You're going to have to divide 40 by 5. That's 8. So you're going to have to do 8 different sets. And each set lasts a week. So that's about 2 months. But you're going to get Gym Rat without needing to play. No micro. You'll get eventually. And in the meantime, you'll still be getting your Gatorade. You know? And then for the other 10 months of the game, you're straight. So that's it for the video. Hopefully it helped y'all out. Get y'all players up. Get them crispy. Get them fucking goaded. This is like not a no demigod glitch. But this is just simple shit that will make you stand out. You know what I'm saying? Y'all have a great day. If you made it to the end, drop a like, drop a sub. Appreciate y'all, boys. We out, man.